This is a little man. That's what a baby is, is a little man. Okay, so let's, let's write some man here. So, All right. And this man has what? Well, he had no name. Do, do y'all you know what your name was where you got here? Somebody will tell you what your name was, didn't they? All right, so the man has no name. But pointing that direction starts buzzing at me. All right. So no name was born into this world on a certain date. <clears throat> and uh, his parents were already involved in the public venue. They was already doing things. And so they decided that little no-name here needed to be in the public too. Because they wanted him to have all the benefits of, of that you know, had been accumulated. You know, such as uh, housing, uh, clothing, shelter, food, and all those kind of things. They, they decided that he should have those things. But in order, to, in order to, to accomplish his entrance into the public, they had to give him a title. <coughs> Because in the public, they have to have some way to recognize who no name is. Now, and so what they did was they filled out an application for the entrance of no name into the public. An application for a benefit is an application of what they call a live birth. And notice how I wrote birth. You can spell it either way, but it means the same thing. And that was, it was an application for a slot to park a vessel. All right? So this application for live birth then was an application for a benefit privilege for no name. And so, so that they could recognize which no name they were talking about, they took poor little no name's foot and put ink on the bottom of it and stomped it down on this application. So they know who it was, and then based on that forensic evidence, they gave no name uh, a, uh, a title. Let's call it John. Now you notice I spelled that in upper, upper lower case letters because that is the style. Look folks, there ain't no magic associated with writing that that way. It's just the style that's used on that particular document. But make no mistakes about it, this word right here is a title it's a title and remember this and, and uh, don't forget this a title creates a fiction a title invariably creates a fiction because is this, is it is is this baby right here equivalent to John no it's just you know mom said hey John come to breakfast so John knew to come. That's all that means. See? And so, so by this application for the live birth, a new title was created for the, for the entity to put his footprint on that application. That's all it is. Now, as I mentioned, I spelled this word here a little bit different. This is a word. That has application to boats and navigation and water and all that kind of stuff, which gives you the idea that probably this application is in what venue? Is it Admiralty? Yeah, See, it has to be. Now, who is it that runs Admiralty on this planet? The One World Government. Now, this is, <laughs> let me explain something to you. The One World Government is not coming, folks. It is here. It had been here since Adam and Eve. One world government has always been here. And it's always operated upon the same principles. And it does conform to natural law. But in any event, this right here, this, this process right here, is all in the admiralty. This is not a common law deal. If John, or if, the, if the baby child that was born, if they wanted to keep it in common law, where would they have put his title? Holy Bible. That's what they've done. Okay, so, so I'm telling you that there's more than one system that goes on when, when children are born. And you can, you can have you can have either system you want. You, you can still put your children in the Bible and they're going to hurt them. But I'm just explaining to you that they're trying to get this entity into the public 
so that he can have the opportunity to use all the things that exist in the public. All right. Now, from this application, there was a, an account set up. And so they went over here and set up an account. And, and from that account, they gave you a reference number. And the reference number that they gave you for that account is the one that you'll find on your birth certificate. Your birth certificate, mine has, I think, five digits on it, or a few more. But anyway, there's going to be some numbers associated with this. And, and on, the, on your birth certificate, you're going to see that. But that is the evidence that there is, in, the fact, in fact, been an account set up. Now, the reason why they set up this account was because you asked, you asked for a benefit privilege, and so they had to provide it for you. And so they set up this account right here. Now, in this account, they set up a technique what you would understand to be called a prepay. The prepayment. Now, some of you have heard the term exemption account. That's not wrong, but probably more accurate to say a prepaid account because it's a little bit easier to understand. <clears throat> because exemption means you're exempt from levy. Now, anybody here know what that means? But you understand prepaid, don't you? Yeah, sure. All right, so we got we got a prepaid account. <clears throat> now, let me say to you, before you go getting run off in which direction, that, that all, all of the participants in this system are pooled. They're, pool, they're in a, a big pooling account. And so it's more than a specific account, it's more like a concept. See what I mean? Okay. So you, so you have this big pooling account here, and the way you access that is through this number here. Now, we've had, we've had some of the brethren <laughs> who have written drafts solely on that number right there and had, had the things taken care of. Now, it's a little bit more complicated than what you want to talk about maybe in this class, but before this class is over with, by tomorrow, I'm going to show you how to do that thing. But we're going to do it just a little bit different than what the other brethren did. Alright? <clears throat> now, let's put it this way. Any time that, that there's any kind of interchange between people, especially if it involves something of value such as quote-unquote money, there is automatically a trust set up. Now, you know, I mean, all kinds of different kind of names, but uh, this particular situation here is best described as a foreign situs trust. Okay, so now. On this foreign situs trust, who do you think the trustee of it is? Yeah, the one world government. The one set it up, they got people that they set up being trustees. Who's the beneficiary of it? Yeah, this individual here is the beneficiary. Now sometime here, pretty quick, as we go a little bit further into the day and so forth, we're going to talk about contributing beneficiaries. And we're going to start talking about who has the value that's in this trust. Okay? So, uh, so on, this, on this trust, on this prepaid account, there was a certain sum that was determined, and that sum was determined by, acce by uh, accessing life insurance, actuary and tables. The government actually went to the insurance companies and said, how much, how, you know, What's the value of a person's life's work? And they set a number on it. It's, it's some, some figure. Let's just say for the sake of argument that it's one million. Okay? 